Big headaches for most of the day for drivers trying to get to Bellingham on northbound I-5. A giant mudslide near milepost 244 shut down the highway for hours. Crews estimate more than a ton of dirt came down and covered the highway there. Cairo 7's Deborah Horn is live near Bellingham. And Deborah, this took a lot of work. A lot of work, Lindsay, that finally got this highway reopened after eight long hours. You can see the vehicles. It's almost like a celebration for them now able to go northbound. Crews tell us they had to first make sure it was even safe for them to clear the roadway. Now, this is what they faced, a hillside eroded by all the rain that has fallen for the last month. Reports that the hillside had given way started coming in at about 8.15 this Saturday morning. Transportation crews worked to clear away the dirt, trees, and rocks that tumbled onto I-5. We talked to the Washtenaw Maintenance Super Superintendent, who says it is a big operation to clear a mudslide of this magnitude. That took some time for you to achieve than getting everybody here. It does. It takes, a, it takes quite a bit of while. The geotech comes down from down south, and we got, we got maintenance employees scattered all over the county. So we got to pull them all in to, uh, to work on this, uh, on this slide. And as I say, they worked for eight long hours. Now, he says the geotechnician told them the hillside will likely continue to slough off a bit. So they built a berm to try to catch what falls. But he says they wouldn't have reopened the roadway if they did not believe it was safe. Well, as I said, the highway is still moving along, but they tell us they have some work to do. The guardrail, about 200 feet of it, came down in all of this. So he predicts that next week they will begin repairing that. So there will probably be a few lane closures, not the full, not the full side of the highway closed, but some lane closures so they can get that guardrail fixed and everything will be back to normal up there on I-5. For now, reporting live near Bellingham, Deborah Horn, Cairo 7 News. Thank you, Deborah.